But what I'm going to do, I don't use points. I put a little bead of caulking on that inside rail. Or I should say on the inside stop. This is the rail. This is the stop here where the window goes in and stops. I put a little bead of caulking all the way around. And, uh, and that's what's going to hold the glass in. Every time I've used points in the past, if somebody, for whatever reason, hits the window with their hand, a ball, or whatever, it always breaks right where a point is. So I quit using them, and I've had good luck since. All right, now I'm going to run a, a bead around this thing so you can see what I'm talking about. And you try to get a pretty much everywhere. So if you missed a spot, you can go back and just give a little bit of a lick. All right. Now I'm gonna slide the glass in there. Now whenever you go back, when you've got a big piece of glass like this, try not to use single strength, try to use double strength. You'd be surprised how much more durable it is than it is for single strength. All right, and then when you get it in the hole, you just lightly push on it all the way around. Until you have a good vacuum seal on it. So that there's no chance of the glass falling out. Now if you're if you're doing a bunch of these and you're not gonna glaze this right away, well then I would suggest putting a, a couple of nails in the side because what would happen if you don't stay with this and somebody opens a door somewhere it could cause this thing to blow out so that's one thing you need to be careful of make sure but now you can I'm not saying you can't use points you're welcome to use points anytime you want to that's fine with me uh, this stuff here has been sitting around a while and the uh, linseed oil came to the top and dried out, so I'm having to dig out what I can here. I mean, it's still a little gooey, but this stuff on top is no good at all. This, or there's some stuff I'm going to show you. It's called whiting. It's in the same area as, as your glazing. Okay, here's your whiting. Use this to mix in with paint, or you can mix it with linseed oil. You can also use it to mix it. This is what I use it for, because when this stuff's when this stuff's a little too gooey like this, you just add it in a little bit. Because what you want, you want to be able to not have this stuff stick to anything. You just mix it up, just like you would. I guess baking dough, I would imagine, I'm not sure, but as soon as it's pliable where you can push on it and it doesn't stick to you, then you've pretty much got it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put some glass in. Now this is probably where I'm gonna get a lot of, a lot of emails from a lot of people saying I'm doing this wrong, but I've been doing this for the last I guess 40 years. Never had anybody call me back yet. Okay, now there's two ways you can do this. And of course I've got the wrong putty knife. When you want to buy a putty knife, be sure you look for a putty or a glazing knife. This knife here is really too wide, but 
since I'm used to doing it this way, it doesn't matter. But Okay, there's two ways I do this. One of them is I really just shove it in there. That way you get a good seal and you shove it in those cracks. Anywhere where there's a crack, you have shoved it in there. All right. Then you take it, it's gotta be a brand new knife because you want it good and shiny. Then you want to come over to the corner. And the nice thing about it, the more you put it in there, the easier it is to fall out. Now we'll come down this way, shove it in the corners. Start in that corner same way. Alright, and then the other way that you can do it, put some on the knife. Start in the corner. You're still shoving it up in all those cracks. Just do a little bit at a time. hold your knife pretty much almost about a 10 to 15 degree angle the more you hold it out this way the more it's going to drag you can see how it's dragging leaving leaving those curly cues there so it's best to go flush Okay, and then now while you got this kind of mess right there Don't panic think you have to do the whole thing again. It's probably got a piece of hard stuff or something in there You just want to get it out Get rid of it Get you a new piece Start back where you were at 